Hi everyone, welcome back to another video where I will be reviewing the Senna R1 bike helmet. First off, um, I have these two bike helmets here that Jason and I wear during our rides. And I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this Senna bike helmet and maybe perhaps you can consider purchasing one for yourself or if you bike, if you ride the bike with um, someone else, then you can also use that. These helmets are great because they have the ability to intercom with one another. That means that you can freely, you can have your ears free of any obstructions uh, when you are talking to one another. So to start off with, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Senna company. Senna originally made helmets for motorcyclists. It's really hard to have a conversation with someone you're riding with, uh, with such a loud noise. And so Senna came up with an intercom in their helmets. And so they've also decided to come to the market for biking, for cyclists, and made uh, bike helmets that are intercom. Um, the reason why we purchased this product is very simple. Uh, safety first when you you're thinking about um, going out for a ride. Um, you, we typically do not ride abreast, meaning side by side when we're out in the roads. We usually ride um, one after another. And because of that reason, it was really hard for us to hear one another when we are just having a normal conversation or just telling each other um, which direction to go. And so I found this bike helmet on Amazon and read through the description and thought, oh, that's a really good idea uh, to put intercom in their bike helmets. And so we went ahead and purchased it. And this is probably, and we talk about this still today, this is probably our best bike purchase that we've ever made. I will be doing a review. And so a few things that I will be going through are the price, the fit and comfort of the helmets, and then they're also their functionality. So the Senna bike helmets are currently $129.99 or $129 on Amazon. They did go on sale um, during the holidays for $100. So just keep an eye on that. They, they do go on sale. Um, we have two of them and we also purchased another one for a friend so that when we go riding with her, uh, we can also talk with her. Um, they come in a couple of different colors. Uh, we got the matte black um, because we thought it was pretty sleek looking. They come in, I believe, ice blue and an orange. Um, and so if you're interested in other colors, you can definitely go for that. So for the price, I give it a three out of five. And the reason being, um, if it were $30, um, it would be a five out of five good good purchase. If it was uh, between 70 and 100, it would be four out of five. And because it's 129, it's over $100. I know for some people who are new to cycling uh, might not want to purchase uh, such a high priced item. And so that's why it's a three out of five. For fit and comfort, um, the helmets themselves are lined with this super comfortable foam which can also be removed. Um, it's got Velcro in here and it's nice and secure in there. Um, so if you sweat, it does, you know, it, it does absorb the sweat um, and it does make it very comfortable. You can also tighten, most bike helmets have this, you can tighten it using um, this dial in the back. And it's got this uh, nice leather strap, chin strap, and which could, is also adjustable. I like this foam padding on the inside. I, I feel like it's very comfortable for when I put it on and um, can tighten it a little bit, uh, a little more securely in my head. And for that reason, um, it makes it very, uh, sometimes I even forget to take off this helmet um, when, you know, when I have to get off the bike. So um, that's how comfortable it is. And for the fit, you have to go onto their website and you measure your the circumference of your head and determine what size you are. Uh, just so you know, I'm a size medium and so is Jason, so we're both a size medium. When we purchased another product for a friend, um, she also got a size medium. So it looks like on average, most people uh, can tend to fall their medium, but definitely measure your the circumference of your head to make sure that you have the right fit. Functionality, and this is, you know, again, this is the reason why we purchased this product in the first place because of its functionality. 
Um, it has great noise canceling and great wind, wind canceling um, ability. So when you're talking to one another, um, I can have a normal conversation with, with Jason just the way I'm talking with you right now. Um, and he can hear me clear. He can hear me clearly, and I could hear him clearly. And so it's nice. We don't really have to scream or yell at each other um, when we have to talk. Uh, if he's behind me or if I'm behind him, uh, we can easily hear each other. You can't hear the wind whooshing by you um, when you're going down hills. Um, it's very clear. Um, another thing and one big thing, again, the reason why we got this is for safety is that it frees up your ears. Um, I have ridden in the past with the Bluetooth headphones and I find that it's for safety purposes, it's probably easier just to keep them off and one headphone on. And even with that, it's, it's too distracting. Um, because it clears your ear, uh, you have the ability to hear everything around you um, and still be able to talk. You can also listen to music with this, but I didn't, I haven't really listened to any music because the only down, downside about it is you can't listen to music at the same time as uh, doing the intercom. So it's one or the other, you have to flip back and forth and it's easy to do that. For the purpose of why we purchased it is just to have, uh, just to be able to communicate with one another. It is, um, it, it's definitely a big plus and that's definitely been the biggest um, reason why we love this helmet is because we are able to communicate clearly to one another. With that being said, you don't really need to ride side by side with one another and take up a lane on the road. Even though legally you can, here in Connecticut, you can ride side by side, but it's all in discretion of what the roads look like. So if there's hardly a um, any clearance on the side of the roads, we usually have to ride um, on a single file. And because of that, we, hard, we can't really hear each other. We can't really have a conversation. I know I've written in the past where um, it was really hard to have a conversation with someone when they're behind me and they, we try to ride side by side, then a car comes up uh, and then we have to move over. So um, this is a huge plus to this helmet is that ability to communicate without having to sacrifice safety. So in order to connect these two, and it's very simple, once you have them connected, they actually remember, or they somehow remember that they were connected together before, and it's very easy. I have mine labeled. Okay, so this is my helmet. And so to turn it on, there is, on the, on the left side, there are three buttons. We got the plus, we got the minus, you know, for the volume, you either increase the volume or lower the volume and then the middle part. And so to turn it on, you hit the, the middle button, the center button and the plus button together. Hello. Um, the speakers are right here. So it's really close to your ear and there's another one over here also. So they're in both sides. Um, so you know it's on when it starts to, oh, there's sunlight, but you know it's on when it starts to blink in blue there. And so this is already turned on. And then when Jason turns his on, this is his helmet. Hello. And what it'll do is it'll connect, we'll be able to connect to each other. Um, it's been a while since we've used these because we haven't ridden outside, but to connect, you pretty much just hold down the center button. Hold down the center button for five seconds. Intercom pairing. So it's going to say intercom pairing. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other helmet is to press the center button. Hello. So there you go. It is connected and I can hear myself in this helmet and then this helmet can hear me in the other side. So that was all you needed to do. And so to turn it off, you hit the center, you hold down the center button and the plus sign. Goodbye. And then you should have heard that. Same thing with this. Goodbye. And it's as easy as that. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to say. Uh, oh, for the music, if you want to listen to music, just so you know, it doesn't have a good bass. So you might not be um, impressed with listening to music on these helmets. Um, it's like listening to an old, old radio. So 
just keep that in mind. The music part of it is not the best quality. Um, so this can work for about 12 hours. We've never ridden 12 hours long, so I, I've never tested it for that long. And then also to charge it, it doesn't take any more than two hours, I think, to charge it. So what we do is after our rides, I go, we immediately charge these. And so that next time that we do go for a ride, it's fully charged and we don't have to worry about losing battery or anything. Um, with losing connection, um, there was one time where we were riding and um, it was kind of a mountainy area. There were a lot of trees around. And so we did lose connection at one point. And I think it's because the satellite reception wasn't able to connect us because of those obstructions. Um, other than that one time, we never really lost connection after that. You, don't, you will not lose connection if you are within half a mile of one another. So that is a good amount of distance to, be, um, to lose connection. And uh, Jason and I, I don't think are ever going to be that far apart from each other. We typically try to stay together when we're riding, and so we really don't have that issue. If there are the you know if there are advantages to using this helmet, there are also some cons. And I think I've mentioned a couple of things already that might not be for you if you are listening to music. Um, there is no bass. Another con is um, the there is no MIPS technology to this. And MIPS, if you're not familiar with it, is um, a new thing I guess they put on helmets, which stands for multi directional impact protection system. And so some helmets do have it. I believe they said that they were going to come out with a MIPS technology for the Senna helmets, the bike helmets. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really seen it out in the market yet, but it is going to be a little bit more expensive. From what I have researched, it was going for $169 versus one that this doesn't have the MIPS technology in it. So it's $129. So um, if you are interested in extra safety and protection, um, you can definitely research to see if they do have uh, the MIPS technology available in these helmets or if they, do, they did come out with it. Another downside to this is, and this is kind of funny, but um, when we purchased this helmet to, when we got this for a friend, she asked me if you could hear each other breathing when you're doing climbs. Um, and I laugh because it's funny because I, I didn't really think of it that way. Um, I, yes, you can, but to be honest, I don't really, um, I don't really pay attention to that part of the ride. Um, when I'm climbing, I'm focused on my effort and not so much listening to somebody else, else breathing. So you can lower the volume if you want. Uh, so you don't, you don't hear the other person breathing so heavily. Um, but I never really had an issue where it was like, you know, it's never to a point where like, oh, that person is really dying on the other side. Uh, so yes, you may be able to breathe, hear the other person, uh, breathing heavily if that comes to it. But again, like I said, for what we use it for and why, and it's not really a big deal. So in the end, um, I do highly recommend, uh, getting a set of bike helmet if you're looking to better communicate with your group members. Unfortunately, you cannot connect uh, with more than four people. It's, I, it, the limit is four. I hope you guys found this review helpful. Um, if you have any questions about this helmet, feel free to ask the question in the, in the comment section below. I wanted to, or we wanted to share this information with you guys because we do, in, we do use this product. We, and we're not, I'm not getting paid extra to, to, to do this review with you guys. Cause we did purchase this with our own money, but just wanted to kind of show you guys another maybe way for you to stay safe out there. Well, thank you again for tuning in to uh, today's review. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, hit the like and subscribe button in the down below definitely helps our channel to grow. I know right now it's at its fruition and we're still developing our subscribers, but definitely hit the like and subscribe to get more reviews. Um, I know we do the weekly training recaps for the Grand Fondo that we're doing in June and also stay tuned next time because we're going to talk about what our plans are for this year. Until next time, have a great week.